thank you for tuning into this week's video. My name's Ruth and if you're new to my channel it's really really lovely to have you here. And it's been a little while since I've posted. The world has changed a lot as we all know, particularly in the last sort of 7 to 14 days. And I thought that this video would be really helpful to talk about the new situation that a lot of us are finding ourselves in and that is not just in this country, this is across the world that we are all of a sudden um, in our houses and we are social distancing, self-isolating um, all these new terms that are suddenly in our vocabulary that were not there before like flattening the curve and I mean who could have predicted that all of this would be where we are now and on this channel everything that I have posted since I started it has all been about really how we can help ourselves and help our mental health and understand ourselves better so there is no better time than this time we've got at home to really have a focus on that because I just want to say at the start of the video that a lot of people that I've been speaking to recently are apologising for feeling anxious, for feeling scared, for feeling panicked and almost apologising for those feelings and I want to say that me included that those feelings are valid and they are completely a normal reaction to what is happening and what we've suddenly become exposed to in this coronavirus pandemic. So if you are feeling panicky, anxious, all of those feelings, I want to say that it's really okay to feel those and it's really normal. So please do not feel like you have to just be positive and push those feelings aside because those feelings are valid and they won't last forever. They are a reaction, a valid reaction to what we're, what we're experiencing at the moment. So please, if you can, like sit with those feelings. If you've got people in your family, in your wider circle that you can talk to, um, obviously maybe not so much face to face, but please just let them know how you're feeling and so we can all support each other. Because sometimes when somebody does admit that they're scared, it gives other people the opportunity to say, do you know what, I'm scared too. Um, we don't all have to like have this attitude of being strong because we have to work through those difficult emotions in order to be able to sometimes come to that place of strength and integrate in the fact that we are fearful and we are panicky and we know that's going to come up like waves for me personally in a day like one hour I can feel fine the next hour something will come up and I will feel panicked again so just to stress that those feelings are okay and also as well to say that staying sane and like looking after mental health and well-being whilst we are doing this social distancing and isolation in the home is really really important for all of us because our mental health and well-being is so defined by what we do for a career say what we go out whether you're a hairdresser or you're a waitress or you know my job my, um, that I do half the week which is a community engagement coordinator where I'm out in the community with lots of different people and um, you know that's all of a sudden gone in that normal capacity for me and for lots of other people so there's going to be a period of grieving for that and not just because we are suddenly without meaning and purpose in our day-to-day -day lives that we used to have in, but also because of financial worries that are valid and all of the other things that come up around that. So it's more important than ever to really look at this situation as, yes, it is a unprecedented, really difficult situation and many lives will be lost and many struggles will be had. However, as the Chinese look at things, um, they have, which I've heard recently, is like 
the idea of a crisis. So this is a crisis on a global level. And within every crisis, there is a element of chaos and uncertainty and feeling out of control. And there is also an element of opportunity. So there's an opportunity for things to change, for us to see things differently, for us to break those normal patterns that we're so embedded in. So for me, when those moments of panic and anxiety come up, I am also trying to look at the opportunities and the, the ways that I suddenly feel really different about things that are kind of a positive thing. So for example, um, really suddenly realizing what's important and for example, like I'm just like looking at my hair on this video because I've got such bad roots and my hair is literally ridiculously long and I really need it doing. And normally I, that would be like on my mind, you know, now I just do not care. Like that's such a superficial, silly thing to be bothered about. So the things that I care about is like being able to check that my mum's okay and being able to make sure that she's got food and make sure that we're able to have food so that we're able to eat and being so grateful for my home and this bed that I'm sat on now and all of my like wonderful family and my wonderful partner and friends and this house that supports me which I so often take for granted and I'm so grateful for right now in this situation. So it does really give us an opportunity to realise what's important. Like we were supposed to have a party last Saturday, it got cancelled, it's not important. Um, not being able to go on holiday this year is not important. Um, you know, all these things that I would have cared about in the past. And um, Me and my husband were talking about the fact that when we go through a personal crisis, so if it was just me going through this life crisis and now all the rest of the world was fine, there can be a lot of shame that we can carry that we're not coping, we can compare ourselves to other people, all those sorts of things. Whereas in this situation, it feels like something that I've never really experienced in my lifetime is it's a global, universal experience that we're all going through together. So although we are distant from one another, we are also to coming together in this experience like nothing that's personally happened in my 34 years of, of life. And that can bring about huge opportunities for us to reflect on the way that we live, reflect on the way that our governments work and the, the way that we think about who deserves treatment and how we look after vulnerable people and all of these sort of really big issues. This is an opportunity for us to reflect on those things. And just from like a practical level, I've posted tons of videos on this channel already on these topics, but like now is an amazing time to support your immune system and support your mental health and wellbeing. Those two things go hand in hand because when we are panicked and we're anxious for long periods of time, like I said, it's a normal reaction to what's going on, but if we stew in that and we stay in that, then it can really affect our immune system's ability to fight the disease, um, sorry, fight the virus. So it's very important that we do look after our mental health and wellbeing and now is a great time to, you know, what can we do at home that is free? So a lot of us are going to have financial concerns at the moment about what our life's going to look like through this crisis and then once it's finished. So things like having a meditation practice and setting that up as part of your life is something that you could start during this time. I've got videos that I'll post links to below that go in depth, more in depth on meditation. But a meditation practice is something that you could use to help boost your immune system, to help you feel much better in yourself, for your well-being, whether you want to look at mindfulness meditation. John Kabat-Zinn has some great videos that are all free on YouTube that I'll post below. And there are lots of different things that you can use at this time to support you while you're at home. And meditation is one of those things. 
and then also as well other opportunities to express how we're feeling so whether you've got a journal lying around or you could find some pa pens and paper whatever you've got in the house so you don't have to order anything unnecessarily and put a strain on the system you know like reflecting on how you're feeling doing some mind maps as amy from sex education would say like what's going on in my mind right now using like vision boards and cutting things out to think about what's important to you in your life what are priorities like these sorts of like creative free things that we can do at home that take us away from just being sucked into watching the news all the time and just constantly being fed the information about what's going on because one of the key things that I've heard people talk about is this is a pandemic of a virus but it's an also an infodemic so the World Health Organization have described it as that like this idea of an infodemic that we are being bombarded with all of this information and if we get sucked into that which is so easy to do then you know it feeds this fear response which then suppresses our immune system which then makes us even more susceptible to the virus itself so really thinking about what you can use in your house and looking around and, and being creative and writing like some gratitude list about all the little things in your house this is a great thing to do with kids as well like what things in your house do you love like what are your top 10 favorite things in your house what do you love be you know what's great about being in your house your squishy sofa your comfy mattress your um oven so that you can bake cakes you know just thinking about all of these things around the house that we take for granted so often and another thing that we can do like I do a lot of dancing and I used to go to a lot of classes like I would go to pole dance class I would go to ballroom latin and um, by rhythms and now they're all stopped so the idea of like having just putting some music on and like having a bit of a, a free form like a primal dance I've got a video of me doing that in my house which I'll post below um, so that's another thing that you can do to literally like shake off all this nervous energy and literally like let it out so dancing is brilliant for that and that's another thing that you can do at home as long as you're feeling well um, and you're well enough to do that again so many yoga teachers have got great content on youtube and are starting to post online so trying to keep those things that you might have done on the outside world keeping those going at home as much as possible and also as well being in nature like I went out for a walk in a very quiet secluded area because I don't have symptoms I am classed as being in the vulnerable group but I don't have symptoms so went for a walk and there was wild garlic everywhere so we picked wild garlic and we put it in an omelette when we got home and it just made me realize that nature provides for us like we we have to find part of this experience could be an opportunity for us to find that reconnection with nature because it's one of the only things that a lot of us are going to be able to go out and do is potentially have a short walk if we've got enough wide open space where we're not going to be in close contact with other people and we're not symptomatic that's really important and um, and they're just a few of the things that i wanted to share on this video that we could potentially do at home and just to also let you know that like it's really been hard to think about posting a video because I felt like this has been a real journey for me as well the last um, the last couple of weeks and just to know that we are not alone I always say this in a lot of my videos but I am here and you are not alone I feel everything at the moment I feel for anyone that is really vulnerable and at risk to this I have stayed in the past I don't know like the past seven days because I have not wanted to put anyone else at risk as soon as I knew how much it was escalating I've really done my best to just avoid people as much as possible because I want everyone to have the best chance and this is our reality for a while we don't know how long it's going to last so I want to be able to put videos out that are potentially going to be a bit of a help to somebody out there and um, and just to just to know that you know like Osho says this quote 
a certain darkness is sometimes needed to see the stars and I think that this is an opportunity for us to yeah this is an opportunity for us to be in the darkness which isn't always nice but it can make us so much more grateful for the things in life that really matter and to not be as distracted by all of the the, the stupid pointless ridiculous things that the world fires at us and tells us that we need to feel bad about or we need to buy this for this and we need to do this and we need to go on this holiday and we need to keep working and we need to make money and like all of this momentum and this hamster wheel you know this could be an opportunity for us to really um simplify and to relook at things so that's what i am trying to do at the moment and i'm going to post more videos i'm not going to promise they're going to be every week because i don't i don't know how i'm going to feel and I don't know what the world is going to be like, but I'm going to do my best to post them as much as possible. And stay safe. You are loved and um, people are here for you. So hold tight. Um, we've got each other. E even though we may not be able to touch each other, we are still here for each other. Okay, take care. Stay safe. Bye.